Hey flaunters, so I wanted to make this video because I know if you're new to pole dancing, you're probably wondering what in the world do I wear to my first pole dancing class or if you're using the Fit to Flaunt app, what do I wear to do my first pole session at home? Well, what I'm wearing is a perfect example of what not to wear actually. We don't want to wear leggings. What you wanna wear is a comfortable top and shorts. Now, if you're going to a studio, I know what you're thinking. We can be overly critical of ourselves and you're like, what? I don't wanna wear shorts out in public. I only wear shorts when I'm home. Let me just tell you, the pole community is so super supportive and encouraging. You have nothing to worry about. And also, every other person in that room is probably feeling the exact same way that you're feeling. Now, why don't we wanna wear leggings? Well, the thing is, in pole dancing, we use our skin as contact points. So when you're learning beginner spins from the Fit to Flaunt app, or at a pole studio, you will actually need the skin on your legs to help you to stick to the pole. So if you have leggings on and your legs are covered, you may find that you're slipping more or when it's time to do some of the conditioning exercises, you can't get a good grip because your contact points aren't exposed. It just gets a little frustrating. It's not that it's impossible, it's just not recommended because it can discourage you and make you feel frustrated in your class. Now, another thing we want to consider is not having any oils or lotions on at all. I know what you're thinking. Shelly, you want me to go to class ashy? My skin gets really dry. I can't be ashy. <laughs> Trust me, if you've seen some of my Fit to Flaunt tutorials, I'm sure you've noticed that I've been ashy one or two times. The reason we don't wear oils or lotions is because the pole is chrome and having any oil or lotion on your skin will literally inhibit you from having a good grip so that you can complete whatever skill you're working on. You're gonna spend your workout session wiping your hands repeatedly with alcohol, trying to get a good grip, only to find that it doesn't work because you have lotion all over your body. You're gonna feel discouraged and frustrated and it literally will be a waste of a workout session. If your skin does get really dry, a lot of my students have told me that they use something called corn huskers. It hydrates the skin, but it has no oil in it at all. I personally have never tried it. I'm also sure that there are other alternatives out there, but you definitely do not want to do any pole dancing with any oil or any lotion anywhere on your body. The next thing I wanna talk about is pole dancing shoes. So a lot of people think that, oh, I'm going to a pole class, I have to wear heels. That's not the case. Most studios, and especially for the Fit to Flaunt app, actually discourage you from wearing shoes right in the beginning. I just think it's better for you to get a few classes in bare feet, just so that the nerves are gone, you know what to expect. Then if you wanna add your heels to get a little sexy and get a little flaunty, you can do so. But please don't think that you have to do pole dancing with heels on, it is completely optional. So, flaunter, so flaunters, I hope that you'll find these tips helpful and that they'll help to take off some of the edge surrounding taking your first pole class or doing your first pole session at home with the Fit to Flaunt app. 